Now what's up, Rex? You tapped in with P Films. What's the word, man? What's the word? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know, now before we start, I want to thank you for allowing me to come up here. You know what I'm saying? And help tell your story on my platform. You well, heard? I want to thank you for coming. No doubt. No doubt. So you know, um, we're gonna start off like this. You're from Sheepshead, right? Yeah. Got you. Got you. You know, like being out here. What was it like for you growing up? Um, regular Brooklyn shit. Like I went to school out here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. It's literally regular Brooklyn shit, like, a lot of, I remember, growing up, a lot of drugs. Yeah. I ain't really, I, that, that shit didn't, that shit didn't really influence me, like, I, ain't, I don't even smoke. Mm. Never That's have, or just? Nah, I have, no, but, like, okay. I don't really, you know what I mean, I don't smoke in the usual, it's definitely a lot of drugs, like, when I used to go to the park and shit. Yeah. It's bad, it's, like, it's still needles out there, probably. They fake, like, that park that I'm thinking of right now, I yeah. think they, um, like, they re, you know what I mean? They yeah, like trying to it. fix it up and yeah, all that. Yeah, so it's yeah. all cleaned up. But like back then, when I was a little kid, that shit was, son, probably knew uh, it was OD. Crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, the whole yeah. area, like, just the whole sheep's had like, in middle school. You know what I mean? Mad drugs and shit. Yeah. I was never, you know. Too involved in all yeah, this shit. Yeah, I like really. That. I'm not into that shit. Got you, got you. Was your, was your parents like a little worried about you going to the park and all that with all that going on? I mean, yeah. oh hell yeah, like. They still be on some like, but we like always calling me where I'm at, cause like, yeah. or like it, it was man, hard to trust me, cause you know I was getting involved in um, in like different things, so gotcha. and I was getting caught, so you know <laughs> they, they was on my ass about that, but I, yeah. I just, I mean I, that's old childish shit, like, oh, trying new drugs, you know what I mean, like yeah. all that shit was in middle school, like I don't even, I don't care about that shit no more. Bro. That's a fact. So they really, they don't even worry no more. That's what's and up. It's pretty obvious why, cause I don't do nothing. Exactly, honestly. exactly. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now I know you uh you credit your mother a lot for playing uh rap around you, you know, yeah. and she kind of grew your love for hip hop. But Fact. aside from that, growing up before the rap, before the love for it, what were some of the things that you were into? Sports, like. Mm, what sports? I feel like I feel like that was everyone though. Like basketball, I yeah. played it for fun, but I was never nice. <laughs> like I, I always thought I was nice. Yeah. You know, I, I was only a good defensive player. Because I was athletic. Uh, being athletic is not hard, you know what I mean? You just got to yeah. work out and practice. But so I was never good at ball like that. But I was actually, I, I was fake decent at football. Yeah. So okay, I mean, okay. Yeah, I was a DN. All right. Back when I had a little more muscle. Defensive man. And, yeah. God and, damn. And, and fullback. Okay, okay. So for me, that was when I had a little more muscle. I was still, my whole life, I wasn't like skinny bones, but I was yeah. like, you know, I, I wasn't. I wasn't completely. I wasn't big, but I was pretty, you know. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I could. I could. I played the end like mm -hmm. late middle school. That's why I was able mm -hmm. to. Film. It was a good size for that age. Gotcha. Why you stop? Why you stop playing ball? Yo, I don't remember. Like, I basically I was on the team right mm -hmm. my high school, and I I really remember this like it was yesterday. It was like it was just like it was a rainy day. I remember we were practicing, yeah. and I'm just thinking to myself like I really remember this like it was yesterday. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I don't even care about this shit no more. Like, I want to keep going with the rap shit. Because mm. before, that was my freshman year. And I was just, like, releasing music on SoundCloud, you know, for my friends and shit. Yeah. To hear, I wasn't really promoting it. You know, I wasn't going hard at all. Yeah, just putting it out, like, more for fun. like. Right. Gotcha. But I had, like, maybe I always had a passion. So I'm like, yo, I, like, I really want to, you know, I want to do this shit. I don't even care. I got kicked off the football team because of my grades. We, That's how that shit go, yeah. Or and yeah. then I just I completely lost count. I ain't care at all. Yeah. I ain't care. And then COVID hit, so there's no football. Exactly. Where at the it, everything happened for a reason, you know. Like, yeah. That shit yeah. all just went in its own lane. Feel me? Everything happened for a reason. Exactly. Exactly. So, That's what's up. You know, I know. Uh, you mentioned that your mother supports your rap career and choice. How about I your father? Have, does, does he support it as well? I don't even think he know. I don't really. Oh, I don't talk, yeah, I don't talk to him a lot. Oh, okay, okay, But, like, okay, I, okay. I ain't really tell him like that. I just, gotcha. You know, what do you think that reaction would be like? Uh, nah, I think he'd be happy. I mean, my step-pops knows, because my step-pops is with my mom's. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah so. Bad, bad. What's it called? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, can you remember if there was anyone, like, around you that that ex was experiencing themselves with music before you? Or was it just you? Like, actually creating music? Yeah, like on some sh like friends from like school. I mm -hmm. mean, oh, you just brought a new memory, in my look. 
in elementary school. We fake had a band, like okay. It was because I would. There was my friend, right? Mm-hmm. He actually rapping now, but That's he was song. more into rock and shit. And then me and my other son, he moved to Florida. We was more into rap. Yeah. We try to combine it. Like I remember, I I, I really liked Ray Schremer at that time. He was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he yeah. was into Bobby and him. Mm-hmm. Me and then my other man's he with the, the whole leader of this rock shit was doing at his crib. That's crazy. So yeah, he <laughs> was feel me, he was more into the rock shit. Got you. Yeah, he on some like nice level emo shit right now, some screaming shit. That's what's up. Is he, so he's yeah. taking it, he's actually pursuing it. Nah, yeah, but he's in like a completely different community, like on some goth shit, you know? <laughs> and like I'm always I was about to ask if y'all do songs together with that answer that. <laughs> I go nah, but he be trying to bring it on drill. I'm okay. trying to tell him like Bro, I'm always jacking you because that's my man's from elementary, yeah. you know? But it's just like, I like his auto-tune shit better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I don't fuck with all that screaming shit. Like, yeah, nah. that shit, I don't know. I personally, it's not my, you know, I really told him he's nice with the auto-tune shit, but I mean, he want to do his own thing. I'm always jacking him. That's my man's. That's a fact. I mean, that's but a he fact. really, he, he, he definitely, I ain't even think about it. Like, you be, right now, you just bringing memories up in my head. Mm-hmm. He definitely, you know, helped me, like, with yeah. his music shit. He, Cause I remember, he would he would be making beats on GarageBand, okay, and okay. I I'd, I'd be writing and shit. This is like elementary, not even when I started recording. This was for me, back then. Yeah, young as hell, word. Yeah, word. That's crazy. But you know, it it be like that. Like those little moments, working with somebody alongside them all the time, consistently shapes and helps your your talent as well. It's nah, like you sharpening yeah. that shit. Yeah, I didn't even know it back then. I was just for me. I was fucking around. Word. Like, I just love rap. I love music, so I was Thanks. fucking around, just whatever. I always dreamed of this shit, you know what I mean? That's a fact, that's yeah. a fact. Well, when you started rapping, you know, what were some of the things you had to learn in the studio or you struggled with, if any? I go lie, I haven't went to the studio after, like, a good amount of rap, of time of rapping because I was recording on um, GarageBand yeah, with the Apple while. earphones. Okay. I still do. Yeah, I, I seen you doing that on a video, yeah. Right, so feel me, I don't even, you know, I didn't really have no experiences. Everything was at home on my own time, and yeah. there's no time, there's no there's no time limit. You yeah. know what I mean? I get to yeah. take my time, I get yeah. to engineer everything myself. Simple engineering, like playing with the treble and the bass and the, yeah. the feel me, compression. Nothing, no, no, I ain't know none of that plug-in shit. Yeah. That's the good thing about recording at home. You're mm-hmm. not you're not confined to two hours, three hours. You can't ex- you because you can't really experiment when you right. when you got to leave at a certain time. Nah, facts. I, uh. st- I don't know. It, it depends. Some st- for me, some studios I'm comfortable. At, some I don't really fuck with. Like mm-hmm. I, I I tried setting up a studio at the crib. That shit ain't work. Like I clapped the fucking um, microphone. Oh, Mad the, long ago. Gotcha. You know I, mean? <laughs> I don't think it even work. I try. This shit not for me, bro. Like. like <laughs> But I would definitely, if someone comes to film me and sets it up, yeah. I would love to record at home. That's a fact. That's, That's what's up. That's what's up. Would you say, like, uh, was PSA the song that made you start taking the music serious, or was there something mm. else? Mm. I'm trying to think, because this, this was a minute ago. This was, like, a year ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I know that's a song. That's my first song that went crazy. Yeah. I don't know if you heard why. I think Toga the Town posted it. She oh. took a clip out and shit. That shit, mad people caught on to that little method that I did. I said it in an interview. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, I seen it on uh the other the other side podcast. Yeah, yeah she yeah. took that clip from the other side. Yeah, got fact. you. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I did, and that's how to keep it short. That's how that shit for me started Pop shooting. And, mm-hmm. and then um, I dropped the vid on on my own channel, mad late. Like I should have dropped it earlier, but you know, I was like saving up breath for that shit. Mm-hmm. And um, that shit, I, it did like twenty k. So for yeah. me to be a nobody coming out the blue, doing 20k on my own page, no yeah. raps and hustles, nothing, no diss track, that was yeah, Gucci nah, for I me. Agree. I I was pretty. For me, I, I yeah. was satisfied. First song, that's good. Yeah. Well, first, I mean, first official release. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So and then raps and hustles hit me up. Or they answered yeah. me, whatever. Man. Yeah. For me, I dropped circuit after that. And that's what exactly. It'd be lit after that. Nah. Well, you know, you said something interesting. Your first song you put out not dissing and all that and it did mm-hmm. well do you do you because i seen you going back and forth with bmg upper class i actually yeah. agreed with you but <laughs> i actually Sorry. agreed with you yo <laughs> what you were saying <laughs> cool I dude but i i i, 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 uh, I agreed with what with what you said basically when you're dissing 
it's always gonna go a little bit further right. than when you just put in a song out like that, you know. I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you something that I recently but look. So when people make diss tracks, it's a yeah. shit ton of people tuning in, and they're not interacting with the video. That's yeah. why you see these diss records in this drill shit with like a lot of views, yeah. but barely any likes and comments. That's, I, I never it, realized that, but I'll pay attention I, to that. I'm stalking that shit. It's yeah. either they're buying views, or they're when focused it, on the diss. Right, or well, people, random people are just tuning in, viewing it, and they're not actually interacting with the artist, and they're not fans with the artist. Mm. Me, I got real, you know, listeners and shit mm -hmm. that like, I get mad likes on my videos and mad comments. Yeah. Because it's not just something people are oh, checking. Oh, all right, that's it. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. and it's not to throw no shade on raps and hustles, but a lot of their videos that got a lot of numbers is just a yeah. lot of people tuning in, and it barely has any likes or comments. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And this, this shouldn't even be disrespectful to raps and hustles because it got nothing to do with them. It's the artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, bro. I, actually, like, do, you know, a question to, I have for you is: Do you feel like journalists and journalists, bloggers, fans, kind of ignite the dissing between? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hell how, yeah! I just how, how so? Right. I said this um in another interview just recorded um a lot of like fans and shit they do ignite it because I said this before I said me and Max the Demon it wasn't even on some like beef shit it's just people like they be on my live yo Max the Demon on live this and you blah 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 then I go on live yeah and I'm like fuck Max the Demon then that shit go on YouTube and then mm. you get what I'm saying so it's just it's, it's yeah. a whole lot of bullshit like did you hear him? Saying all that, or you just I heard took the him word. saying after I said that. Gotcha. I don't know if he said it before. I feel like people are just, you know, it'd be yeah. like it, I was on some shit where I just like I ain't really have a lot of support, you know. Yeah. So I felt yeah. I felt really um like I just felt like everyone's against me. So people were commenting shit like, "Oh, Max the Demon way better than you. You suck." I'd say some shit like, "Fuck Max the Demon," he could, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like I yeah. just felt like mad outnumbered. So I was on some day room shit, but. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm get that forever, you know what I mean? So yeah. I, I don't care. That shit, bro. It got nothing to do with him. That's what I failed to realize. That's a fact. You know what That's I mean? I, was just, I just felt like I had no support. Just all haters. Fuck Max the Demon. That's what uh, I was on. So was, well, now I'm glad you realized that because yeah. most niggas ain't gonna, most niggas probably gonna get in the way nah, before yeah. they admit that. Have y'all two spoken or not? Yeah, hell Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. We cool. Nah, nah, nah. All that, bro. Me and Max cool. I fuck with him. I've been fucking with his music. It's just when yeah. I came out and everyone. Bashing me, I ain't really, I, Yeah, I, back I, against the wall is kinda like Yeah, bro. Got you, got you. Alright, bet. So uh I know uh after some time pass, you know, you're putting out records and after that on Christmas you put out uh Drill Shady. Right. Got you. So what was your goal with that project putting it out? I mean, like look, what's my goal with every release, you know? To, well that shit's blow. Yeah, but but, but like, not everything works out that way. So. Yeah, did you it's, have like when when putting the records together, was there a vibe or a feeling you wanted the fans to receive, or was it just nigga? I'm just gonna put a tape of fire shit out. See, that's what I was thinking at that time. But now mm -hmm. that I look back at it, it gives me some like like some nostalgia. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm like wow, this was like these are some golden like beginning beginning of Rack's journey songs. I agree. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like before yeah. it wasn't. I wasn't. Like, let me shy. You remember? Well, that, bro, we were just hitting the stool, you know, making random songs. I was like, fuck it, I'm a, you know, but now I'm realizing how significant it is because I'm gonna build off of that. I have a, I have a whole plan for my next drill shady. That's what's up. Dropping the same date. I have a whole winter theme. Like, I just have mad ideas and shit. So it really played a big role. I didn't even realize. I was just, that was like when I just started going to the studio. Yeah. I, before that, I was recording on my phone. So yeah. I was getting used to shit. I was experiencing a whole lot of new, you know what I mean? Like I feel you. It was, That's pretty good yeah. for the first project. And you right. said you just started going to the studio, definitely. Right, yeah. Word, word. My, my top three songs on that project was um Gotham Payment and out, the outro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Payback, payback, pay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Word, word. I, I'm curious to know what were yours and why. Oh, you deadass like outro? That's, yo. Yeah. I like that song too. It's just fucking, no one even like pay attention to that shit. Word, I love that shit. Word. On, on, your, on your list, if you're thinking about all the songs that was fire on that project, where do you rate outro? I don't know. I think all of my songs are. You know I mean? But <laughs> I could tell you my what? Yeah, one of my top three. Yeah, go with your top three. Um. And why? Well, I won't include payback 
Green Bay and Circuit because all all of those are previous releases before the album. Okay. So okay. they were just they were singles and shit. But I'm gonna say Spin. Yeah. Rovers and Martins. Got you. And Gotham. Yeah. Gotham yeah. Gotham I, I love Gotham. Uh, yeah, I love that's Gotham. a fact. I should have shot a video. That's a fact. Or, Why didn't you? Um, procrastination. Okay. 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 Yeah. Literally. Got that's you. It. Got you. Bad, bad. You know, um, I also seen you did a you, you linked up with Dato, mm -hmm. uh, from New Jersey. Y'all right. did a track together. That caught me off guard. You know what I'm Word. saying? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, but y'all both two that. lyrical rappers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it makes sense. Some How drill what, shit, yeah. word? What was that like working with him? I fuck with him. I, I like his. You know, he, we we walked in the booth, did it. Bop, bop. I said it's done. Like we did it mad quick and shit. Uh, what's it called? My son, High Tech Max. Mm -hmm. High Tech Fanta, High Tech Max. Max, um, we made Red Dot. Mm -hmm. So that was that's that shit just hit 100K. Yeah, that's a fact. Uh, that's a fact. So, I mean, he obviously posted Red Dot and Dato saw me because they're under the same management. Oh, so maybe okay. We, we connected. Got you. That's and, what's up. Yeah, we went to the store. Uh, I shot a video. That shit doing its thing. I yeah, it, yeah. It's like, was, like 30K right now. Yeah, it's smooth, smooth. Yeah. Was that the only track y'all did or y'all yeah, did? Yeah, okay. Remember, we was running out of time. That's what's up. Uh, now, nah, was he supposed to come originally? I think so. But the studio session was booked for, for me, my other mans. So mm. they just, they, they blessed us with the hour and shit. And we just got that shit done in an hour. That's what's up. Yeah. Bad, bad. Now, we all know, you know, when it comes to New York drill, while the Bronx is technically heating up, you know, Brooklyn kind of got it on lock right now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, because of such high, the, the high rate of rappers coming out of BK, does that ever discourage you or raise some doubt within you being a Brooklyn drill rapper? Yeah, it would discourage me if I'm the, if I'm a, for me, if I'm a copy, if I'm the same as all of them, I feel like I'm different. Like, gotcha. Well, because a lot of, a lot of these drill rappers sound the same. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. But a I, I would be worried if I sound like everyone else, but I don't. I don't think I do, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. every everyone can get their own shine. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's what's up. You know, I heard you say during an interview, you know, I, I don't only drill rap. You know, when I get into real music, YNW Melly is an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Like you said in the interview. Yeah. Yeah, for, you know. For my auto-tune shit, but I ain't been fucking with that a lot recently. Yeah, but you right. got, I don't know, like, a lot of people don't like him. And I understand why. Well, but, why? I, but, I feel like he wild talented. What? Feel me? But I guess they just don't care for it. You know, it's not real rap. But I remember I was going through a little eighth grade heartbreaking time. Yeah. <laughs> when I and I was listening to him, so that shit just give me a nostalgic feeling. You yeah. know what I mean? He put you in the bag when it comes to the to the romance. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so. Or, you know, with with the comment though, as far as the real music, do you feel like drill rap isn't really artistic or does yeah, it hold the same I, value it depends what you do with it i feel like i was chatting at that time okay like okay. i feel like i'm artistic with my mm. drill shit a lot of drill music is not artistic at all yeah a lot of the, what makes what makes a song not art, a drill song not artistic what makes it artistic in your I'm, opinion i'm trying to think let me i'm gonna I'm put it like this again no offense to these channels most of the shit you see on came frame and raps and hustles is not artistic mm-hmm not the video. I'm talking about the songs. No, I got you. Keep I got it a you. buck. Keep it yeah. a buck. I ain't gonna say no name. No, I feel, I feel you. You click on majority of those videos. That's my opinion on non-artistic drill. Same phrases. Same, you know, yeah. punchlines. Just, I, you know, same, same lyrics. Same shit. Same flow. Got you. That's it. Got you. That's what I feel. Me. I try yeah. to switch it up. Like I feel like right now, I'm um. Like building up the sample wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you know? big right now. That's big. Right. Yeah. I, I I don't know. In my opinion, I'm I'm contributing to it. Yeah. But I mean, I, I'm working with my producers. I'm giving them the like some samples, shit to sample. You know what I mean? That's what's up. And yeah. That's what's up. You know. I like the sample wave. I really. Yeah. I, I really do like it. That's a um, fact. Yeah. Bad, bad. You know, back in the day, we had legends such as like Biggie, Nas, mm -hmm. Lauryn Hill, etc. In your opinion, do you think a drill rapper can reach that level of success? Well, look, you got a drill rapper and then you got a drill rapper like Pop Smoke switching on to mainstream shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't think doing 
UK drill type beats and saying, uh, and saying I'm going to spin your block is going to, you know, get you to that level. Yeah. But I feel like you do get your clout from that and then you switch to mainstream yeah, yeah. shit, then you could definitely get to that level. Starting as a drill rapper, yes. Finishing mm -hmm. as a drill rapper, no. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. You know, b before you said, um, you mentioned... You mentioned YNW Melly with the auto tune and the melodic stuff and all that. Yeah. You know, I, I and I also heard you say that you also have music like that as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I always I constantly hear rappers say that, but I also feel like they always be like, you know, I'm I can't wait to put it out or just wait, I'm gonna put it out. What what be the hold up with that? What takes what makes the rapper take so long to put and that that's sound a out? Fact, cause I'm I'm I, my fault for cutting you off. Now you go, you go. Yeah, that's what I'm going through right now, cause. I got a whole lot of shit I want to release, mm -hmm. and I got a whole auto tune EP. Yeah, and I'm just like, where the fuck am I even gonna fit this in? <laughs> Cause I wanna, you know, I wanna make it big. I believe in it. Yeah, but I'ma have to hold it and let all my other releases go through. You know what gotcha. I mean? I got a whole lot of shit planned. And it's like, where the fuck am I gonna put this big project in? Cause I have a lot of ideas for it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Where the fuck am I gonna fit this shit in? So it's like, that's that could be the reason. Or they just don't feel comfortable with releasing it. I'm just, I mean, I'm speaking on my case right now. Yeah, yeah. Because for me, I was going to say, like, um, I, I, I thought it was like, when you're doing like a whole tape of drill, two things. It's hard to find placement within the project to throw it in there. As in, you mean, oh, the auto-tune songs. The auto-tune like, songs. Like uh, a full, uh, when you're doing uh, like a full-body project, it's hard to mm -hmm. find placement in there. Or B, maybe... I've heard um, some drill rappers say this. They feel like it doesn't reach the certain numbers that the drill does. It's crazy. It never does. But I'm trying to think why. I feel like it's because they're not that good at it. It's okay, like okay. It's like Lil Durk. Yeah, he like, does it he well. Do, he does both. Yeah. Yeah. And his auto-tune shit Amazing. is going crazy right mm -hmm. now. So I feel like it's just them thinking they can do it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, bro... I ain't gonna lie, all these songs on my EP, I think they're fucking fire. Some yeah. people think they're fucking trash. Gotcha. So it's like, I don't know. I, I'm gonna think all my art is fire. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. But another person might not like that painting. You get what I'm saying? So gotcha. it's, it's all opinions. Absolutely. I'm always think my music's fire. Yeah. But I mean, it has to be to a certain degree for the simple fact that you've been doing this for what, like a year, less than a year? And uh, already, nah, I, a good year, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and you've already gotten this much clout. You know what I'm saying? It has to be. Well, right. you know, I heard you say something interesting. You said uh, you wouldn't really do songs with with the some uh, interviewer was asking you about who would you work with in New York, mm -hmm. and you said there's um you wouldn't really do songs with a lot of New York rappers. You want to kind of stick to your guys because there's right. too much politics, you know? Because, yeah, yeah, me and my guys have the same politics. Yeah. So do that's you, the only thing for me. Do rappers really feel a way when um, you do a song with someone they don't like? If they do, I don't care enough to, you know, get involved in that shit. I really mm -hmm. don't give a fuck. Gotcha. It's not going to kill me. I'm going to be doing my own thing regardless. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. have to work with this person and that person. That's a fact. That's a fact. Do you... <sighs> I'm... Uh, oh. Cause you could say, cause I was yeah. just thinking if I would feel a way like yeah, I gotta, and, and that was that was what I was gonna ask. Mm -hmm. Would it bother so you it, if like, a rapper you work? Let's say you work with a rapper, mm -hmm. and y'all just had a good vibe. Um, they might know you have an issue with another rapper, but you know they feel like it's not their business. They go do a song with them, but you've already built a rapport with them. Would that bother you? Yeah, cause if we're building a relationship, musical relationship though, not really like a. Kind of goes hand in hand. I, I think it does, cause either mm -hmm. way, you gotta feel me. You, you, that's your man's. That, that is, be, became your man's. Yeah. Do you we, can't just say, <laughs> yeah, we vibe and we doing this and that, but nah, you could go kill him right in front of me. I don't care. <laughs> what? You can't do that. That's word, that. word. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I'm not even gonna bring up the situation, but I, I don't yeah. know. I, I go speak on it, but uh, uh, so, actual situation. You yeah, yeah. Got, okay, so, God, God. So, I. I don't, I don't know how to put this in a way where I ain't gonna expose nothing. Something, something, and then someone was like, what he said, he said, um, he said, oh, why you had to do this with him? So it, it's like, I just, I don't want to expose gotcha. much information. No doubt, no doubt, yeah. no doubt. Moving on, moving on. Um, I w this is a question I have, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand 
not wanting to do a song not wanting someone you built a relationship with to do a song with someone you're not too fond of but like to play devil's advocate what happened you know a lot of rappers always be like keep shit in the streets but isn't that not keeping it in the streets if you're taking it into the music business hmm that's a good one i guess it's what matters behind the scenes you know like mm -hmm. why the reason why you're doing this gotcha you know i yeah i understand that's a really good point though yeah. really only because point. like i could understand if some if you drop in my set you drop in my set you talking about my block then i that's cut but if it's just a regular song i would assume that this is literally for the fans and sometimes i ask are musicians are, are musicians concerned about cheating a fan out of a potential collab mm. you feel me what i'm saying i got i, I just got an idea in my, mm -hmm. my head i feel like this only applies to if you work with artists in your own state i'm gonna I'm explain why dato gotcha. for example right i worked with him yeah he whatever whoever he might have problems yeah. with in jersey it, it's it, it's obvious i don't have problems with them i'm not yeah, from yeah, there you know yeah. what i mean but if it's brooklyn or new york it's not as obvious i'm trying to find out why but because you know let's say i made a song with fucking i don't know i'm i made a song with him in, yeah. in brooklyn and everyone's gonna you know make it look like i'm we're linked up and i'm gonna have his beef yeah pause yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> but look, yeah. but I made a song with Dato, and he's all the way in Jersey. Fact. It's obvious I don't have issues with, with whoever, right? Yeah. So it's like I don't know. I'm, I don't know. It's weird. That's the way it works, though. Word. It's 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 kind. Of, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. That's a question I would love to ask. Like many rappers who who are into it with others. Like yo, you know, wh where where do we draw them? If there's even a line, where right. do we draw it? You know what That's I'm saying? Like, is it street or is it? Is, is street shit, shit street shit or can we does it just apply everywhere you know what i'm saying it's like melly made a song with king vaughn mm -hmm. does that mean he's beefing with Quando rondo exactly no but exactly. They, you got it but at the same time they're like huge in the industry so i don't even know yeah i don't even know what's that's why i just stick to my notice i have no no feet other than dato yeah. i got no other features other oh. than my people yeah i peeped that yeah so, I yeah. guess you could count Squid Nights, but he not really like a drill rapper. Yeah, you know what I mean, that's a fact. But that, that's still Stan. my people's though. Yeah, yeah. How was that? How y'all connected? Y'all kind of recently did that, right? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. A few months or whatever. A few months. Yeah, yeah. 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 How did y'all connect? Has it been a few, this was like I'm trying to think. This was like February. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, I like I've been listening to him uh -huh. since like this. Oh, good looking, brother. No, you my heart. So look. Mm. Since like the sixth grade, I've been mm -hmm. bumping Squid. Squid night, word. So, I've been in tune with him. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think. I think his like his, some relative to him, feel me, was it is my age. So he's in tune with my drills. You know what I mean? Yeah. The politics. What you're doing? People, yeah, yeah. Right. So, because, you know, people my age are talking about me. Yeah. And he know them because he my age. So, he brought my name to Squid. And that's how it happened. That's what's up. And, yeah. That's what's up. And y'all recorded in the same studio as well? Was, or was it kind of like an email situation? Mm. At first, really, I wasn't that close with him. Okay. And, but now, like, that's really my guy. That's what's up. You know what I mean? But before, up. like, when we started talking... Yeah. I wasn't really close with him. Yeah. Gotcha. So, I didn't really, you know, I didn't go to the studio with him or nothing. He just sent me an open. Yeah. Well, I for, wait, no, he previewed the song. I mean, this is it. I need that. He didn't mm -hmm. say that. He sent mm -hmm. it to me. I bodied it. Boom. Wow. That's what's up. We made history. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, yeah, so all, my, all my old friends, they like, well, you got a song with Square Nights. Nice? He was, me? I go lie, he was mad. <laughs> feel me? That's when he started, like, jumping up. Yeah. Like, when I was in sixth grade around. That's a fact. Right. How do how, what's that feeling like? You know, I understand like COVID kind of shut the schools down. Mm -hmm. So things picked up for you when you kind of when they shut school down, right? Yeah. Are people like all the kids like on your body like yo this nigga is lit? He go I mean, to my school. I never went to school. Oh. Um, like high school. 
Okay, okay. I went for a few months. Mm. That's it. And mm. that's before I got popping. I never went back to school. Oh, shit. So, I never expect. I don't want to experience it. Man. It's annoying. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yo. This is what happened. I, so, I had to go in for summer school for a day. Yeah. Just to, like, get the logins and shit. Mm-hmm. So, I walk in the building. I'm... Probably I'm messed up. I'm like, I'm not trying to look. I don't want no attention. You know what I mean? That's not me. Like, I don't, I don't really, it's annoying. Yeah. All I hear is racks, racks, racks. I'm like, who the <laughs> fuck is that? Right, I'm I dead know. ass. Like, yeah. I was like, who is that? It's some kid in the line. Yep. And then I'm at the, um, I mean, I'm at the guidance counselor's shit. Cause they tell me I got to make up credits from like ninth grade. Yeah. Roger, I'm in 11th grade right now. I'm going to 11th grade. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? Cause I thought I had, but whatever. So, and there's this kid. He's like, "Wait, you're 917 racks." I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, he gives me a hug. I'm like, no disrespect. Who are you? Yeah. Like, yeah, he gave yeah, me yeah. a hug. So I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> what did you like, think? Yo. What went through your mind? I'm just like, I'm not really like, you Used know, cra- nah. I'm not really crazy. I'm not about to bug out. I just thought it was kind of weird. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is he giving Whoa. me a hug? <laughs> so he's like, you know, I fuck with you, blah blah blah. I'm like, oh, we're a good looking. Yeah, so Yo. that was my first day at school. Crazy, as young as you are, you're you're now uh, you now are a role model. Just off the well, town. Yeah. Well, I knew it was real when people are having me as their profile pictures. <laughs> that's a <laughs> fact. That's a fact. Right. Word. Crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. So what's next for uh, 917 Racks? What's next for you? A whole lot of mysterious, unplanned shit that mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just time will tell. Gotcha. Um, I mean, I'm waiting on Chill Drill to drop. We got some shit going yeah. on behind the scenes. Okay, okay. Release date is not confirmed. I repeat, yeah. it's not confirmed. Wow. So We're waiting on that. We are waiting on that. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. It's my most... Imp- you know what I feel like? I feel like I'm that crazy huge artist right now where the fans just don't stop asking them for that song. When are you going to drop this? When are you going to mm-hmm. drop... You know? I yeah. never had that before. That's my most anticipated shit. Every yeah. time I post something, I post something not even related to Chill Drill, they comment, Chill Drill? Question mark? <laughs> like, damn, bro, I can't give him, the, like, a date. Like, back up over me, I can't, I can't give a date. And is that a full-body project, or is it is it a just... full-body as in, like, an album? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah that's one, okay. that's one, one song? song. That's one song, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I might just oh. give it to them. They asking like that, I might just Come give it on. to them. Come on, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm nah, saying. I might just nah. we got word. some. I mean, we got some shit going on behind okay. the scenes. That's the only reason why. Okay, it's okay. It's not just a regular release. Yeah. So, but I'd rather just. I don't know. I ain't gonna say too much. No doubt. I agree. Doubt. I trust me. I agree. Word. I agree. Word. You feel me? So at least the people are hearing it now. It ain't Rack's fault. You feel me? It's not my fault. <laughs> start, start, start harassing the people around him. Word. Start harassing management because this ain't my business. At there this you point. go. Word. Word. But not, bro. It's not for um a negative purpose. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? They we're trying to get shit situated. Yeah. Got to be better, strategic. I got yeah. They not. It, it's not on some evil record label shit. Like, now nah, you're just not releasing music. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? We, yeah. There's something really going on behind the scenes where we're trying to set this shit up, make it lit. Gotcha. Boom. Gotcha. Bet, bet. Listen, man, is there anything you'd like to tell your fans, anybody out there, before we close out? Don't forget about me. I, I don't want to fall off. That's I'm not fact. on yet, but, you know, I, I'm trying to stay forever. That's a fact. That's a fact. Listen, nice. the, the P-Films tradition is, you know, Name three people you'd like to see tap in with P Film. So who's your three? What's your name by that? Oh, we are, I'll just always ask people to name three people they want to see tap in, do interviews with P Film. Oh, 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 oh! I thought you meant like people you want to watch it. My interview. I'm like, no, 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 no. Um, huh? Who, who do I want to see mm-hmm. on P Films? I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to feel me give away the people I fuck with. Okay, that okay, okay, start okay. More, you know what I mean? Oh, he fuck with him and him. You got get what you, I'm saying? Got you. But, of course, my mans that's doing their thing. My fucking guys. Bet, bet. I said K, YBC, all of them. Okay, okay. But we the whole Verified Records, our whole team. Obviously, I want to see them on this shit. That's Why cool. Not? Bet, but, bet, bet. Yeah. Got you. All right, listen, I was having racks. Uh, obviously, I tapped in with you because I fuck with what you're doing. Uh, 
You got my support. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing your thing. You heard? No doubt.